Yay! We're back. A few months ago, it looked just like this, and my heart was broken because we were after a first to find for an earth cache at New Post Falls, and this is as far as we could come. So join us now for the second part of our attempt to try to get a first to find at a waterfall earth cache. not really shorts and sandals weather but uh, I thought I'd wear them in case we had to get wet and then as soon as we cross this stuff I'm gonna change into some long pants and boots because it's kind of cold <laughs> it's a little bit chilly and uh, I think we might be able to get to this one going on the right side and the beaver has made quite a lot of improvements since we were here last and the water's not flowing over the dam this time where it was last time Let's get that waterfall. We made it the other end. Yay. I did not want to get wet today. <laughs> if that's the worst that we have to deal with from now on, we're good. <laughs> degrees north. There we go. And that line signifies 50 degrees north. Woohoo! <laughs> and this is our companion today for the falls. We're not doing it alone, other than our muggle son Paul. It's YTS. Hey everybody. Hey. It's good to have him along and uh, let him do the driving this time but still we can't drive through the swamp. <laughs> yeah. We passed the halfway mark a little ways back where we had to make the turn. And we're getting closer, things are looking good. The leaves are starting to change here and our friend YTS tells us this is about as good as it gets. <laughs> uh, no bright reds like in Southern Ontario you get yellows, and browns, and green. But it's looking good, I like it. The row is nice and wide. Should be good.
we were uh, contemplating uh, just kind of walking through in uh, our sandals or bare feet, but it's a little flowing a little stronger and a little deeper, eh? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> it looked a little shallower from over there. <laughs> Besides the waterfall being an earth cache, it's almost an earth cache right here with these conglomerate pieces. They look soft. You look at it from a distance and it looks like you could break some of the stuff off, but it's like asphalt. It's like solid rock. It's one big piece, but it's actually made up of smaller pieces of stones, sand, pebbles, and larger rocks all together glued. And you can see like this piece came from up here and had fallen down with the erosion from the waterfall. We didn't think we could get over that because we, from a distance it looked like a sheer drop off that we'd have to go up over the rock. But it was nice we could kind of step along the side. It was pretty good. Now we're going to go play, take a closer look at the waterfall. to find team effort by all all of us to get this earth cache finally after having an epic fail of not being able to get past the beaver dam this time it was a success and thanks to a and k for placing this earth cache well over a year ago before now it was found by us for the first time thanks so much that's awesome. Well, that was pretty cool, eh? That was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, and a first to find. And then we separated as we were coming back and these guys went up to the top. Hey, tell us all about it. Yeah, so it was a bit of a bushwhack. It was uh, not, not a trail for most of it, but at the end we found a trail and it took us right to the top. Beautiful rocky area around the top where uh, it could have just, you know, water flowed over in the spring and then it just narrows down into this canyon and you just see the water just going down and then this beautiful view out, out to where we came from, just awesome. That was a lot of fun. I guess if there's uh, one trailhead that's closed off and I think that's the one that leads up to the falls. We had to cross a beaver dam to get here, but well worth the hike. We finally avenged that uh, epic fail, and it was pretty cool. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where, Where will, will geocaching, geocaching take you? Take you?